Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. Uh, as you know, there's been much speculation as to whether I enter the draft or come back for my last year. And I just wanted to let everybody know that I'll be returning for my senior year. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of thought that's gone into this process. Um, I talk with my family, uh, coaches, some of my teammates, and uh, I just feel like it's the best decision for me, uh, ultimately. Um, I get a chance to finish my degree, uh, finish what I started, uh, you know, help the team, you know, help the team. I believe in what Coach Martin is building, and I think that we have a good chance to be good. And so I'm excited. At this time, we'll open up for questions. What were the factors, Tyrone, that, you know, helped you decide to stay? Uh, like I said, I put a lot of I put a lot of thought into this, and um, I think just coming back and, and getting my degree, you know, from Cal is is important to me. Uh, and I think you know after after achieving you know getting my degree, being the first in my family, I also get a chance to um, play professional then. Uh, but until then, I'm just really happy and focused on uh, working hard with my teammates and uh, trying to do some special this next year. You got you got the report from the NBA. What did they tell you? And how much did that impact your decision? What did they tell you you should work on? Um, I mean, I, I'm not really going to go over the details. I think that's for, you know, my coaches and my family and I. But uh, it, it was positive feedback. What was kind of the process here uh, from the time the season ended to working out and talking with coaches and to how you got here? To uh, just a lot of thought, you know, a lot of talking with uh, people who, who care about my best interest. Uh, you know, I sat down and talked with Coach Martin, uh, talked with other other coaches and staff, and um, as well as my family. Like I said, and uh, we just ultimately we just felt like it was, it was the best decision. When did you come to that decision? Uh, probably a few days ago. Did you walk back and forth at all, or, or did you kind of keep an open mind to you finally made the decision one time? Um, I think it was something I had to you know weigh both sides. Uh, had to look at. You know both outcomes and and pros and cons and uh, like I said, I just feel really confident with my decision to come back. Do, do you feel like a lot of the projections had you being taken somewhere in the upper or middle part of the second round? What do you think you can achieve in terms of your draft status by staying? How much better can you can you make that next year? I think you know with the guys we have coming in and uh, with the players that we still have here at Cal that we have an opportunity to be very good. Um, and I think just, you know, with a chance to, to be successful and make it far and, and play in the tournament, uh, that'll ultimately help me, uh, as well as just growing and getting better, um, you know, get a whole another year to, to work on my game and uh, work with teammates. So I think I'll be help you a lot. Coach, what kind of role did you play in facilitating this whole process? If at all? Well, really, after we played our last game in Vegas, I think that following week, they went spring break and they came back that week. Tyrone and I sat down. And the thing I said to him, uh, you have to do what's best for you first and foremost. Don't consume yourself with what the team is about. It's about what's Tyron, best for Tyrone Wallace. Just gather all the information. And that's what we did through a pro three week process. And it was ultimately his decision. I didn't want to make the decision for him because it's very important that he does what's best for him. If he returns to school, he did it on his own merit. If he goes into the draft, he does it because that's what he wanted to do. So for me, it was the best thing for he and his family first and foremost. Tyrone, obviously, uh, you guys were watching the, the Ivan Rav festivities, and he said that he wanted you to come back and be his point guard. Did that play any part? Did that? Did you hear that and kind of just, you put that into the whole decision process? Uh, I don't think it, you know, played a, a really large part. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you know Ivan's coming and that I get to play with him. But I think uh, ultimately, like I said, I had to just make the best decision for me. Um, and I think you know that coming back and playing with him and the rest of my teammates was was that best decision. How excited are you about this? I'm really excited. I get another year. You know, I get to play my last year, graduate. I get another year to play with my teammates, and uh, you know, after next year, there's there's no speculation. You know, so. Yeah. Your mother said that you had made a promise to your grandfather about graduating. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, yeah. Um, my grandpa was a very important man in my life. Uh, um, I always looked up to him, and uh, he passed away last last year before season. Uh, and uh, you know, it was a, it was a big deal for me. Um, yeah, he promised he would come to all, to my games and stuff. He, he never he doesn't really like travel, so he never came. Uh, but he always watched me on TV. Would always talk, and I, I promised him that I would get my degree. Uh, I'd be the first in my family to do so. So. Uh, you know, I think it's important for him and for me to, to stick it out and finish. But that could have been now or later, too, right? Yeah, it could have been. Right, yeah. 
And it, it, by staying, you expect to graduate next spring before you uh, before you leave? Um, yeah, possibly uh, next fall, but um, definitely next next spring. Uh, yeah. What's your sense of how good your team can be? Uh, I think we could be really good. Um, I like I like the guys that we have coming in the recruiting class, uh, the freshmen. Uh, we still have important parts here that you know um, that are still playing with us currently, and so I think we can make a real run at uh, you know Pac-12 championship, and and hopefully we play in and do well and go into tournament. You had just played point guard for for one season here at least. Um, what do you think you do well at that position right now, and what are the areas that you would like to get better at? Uh, I think um, I can get better at uh, being more vocal. Uh, you know, that's one thing coaches always talk to me about, uh, just being a coach on the floor, being a leader. Um, and so I think that's the area I can get better in. Uh, I feel like, you know, my strengths, uh, as you may know, is you get into the basket. Uh, I feel like I can create for others. Uh, and I think um, I get a chance to show that a lot more uh, this, this next coming up season. What are your goals over the summer? Um, I mean, always the goal is just to get better. Uh, so whichever way that may be, um, you know, I've been working hard, uh, and I'll continue to work hard um, at getting better so that I can help my team uh, be as best as we can. What was your mom's reaction when you told her? Uh, my mom, um, she's, I mean, I haven't really told her, told her, but she's, <laughs> she knows, she knows, uh, she was happy for me, you know, like I said, cause it was, it was something I told my grandfather, but, uh, she was happy that I decided to, to come back and play. What would your grandfather say if he could see you right now? Um, I don't know, I think he told me that I made the right decision. Uh, I think he'd be proud of me. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Was was there one factor in all of this that stood out above the others? Was there one true factor that maybe pushed it over the top? Um, I mean, there's not one that I can just think of off the top. Uh, uh, I love all my teammates. Uh, I think we have great coaches. Um, so I'm excited for that, as well as all the other reasons I just explained. So I think it's just a good opportunity for me. Conzo, I know you, you try to just help him with the process, but not to influence him or try to influence him. But what's your reaction to him coming back? And how does it impact your team going forward? Well, I'm happy for our guys. Um, in order to be the best team, you have to have good players. You have to have guys that want to play, want to be a part of a team, want to be a part of a family. And I've said it before, this is probably the closest group of guys I've ever been around when it comes to a team. So just really happy for not only our guys, but our program, the Cal fan base, because I think we have the parts to be very successful. And in order to do that, you have to have the guys. Everybody has to be on the same page. Conzo, do you feel like you guys have some momentum right now in terms of things going well just through the summer? and? Conzo, well, back, things like that. for me, it's just always one day at a time. We have to continue to get better. And I think the biggest key right now is the strength and conditioning. Uh, we have to improve in a lot of areas. Uh, again, we have the parts, but now we have to be on the same page. Uh, because it doesn't matter what they say on paper. You have to still put the work in. There's plenty of work to be done. Did, uh, did the team feel like you uh i mean i think they kind of had an idea i mean i never uh verbally just told them uh but i think they i think they knew did you go into the process tyrone hoping to get one answer or the other or just hoping to get a clear view of what made sense to do uh i mean i went into the process hoping to get a clear view but uh uh, that's hard. Um, I mean, like I said, you just have to weigh both sides and uh, and see what's the best decision. And so I think that's what I did. You seem like you're at peace with it, though. Yeah. We have time for two more questions. Conzo, how do you think this affects uh, the team's <coughs> makeup for next year? I mean, how, how do you how do you think that they like this decision? Well, I just I just think um, when when you're fighting for the top spot. You have to have all your parts. I think we have the parts. But again, there's a lot that goes in between uh, in getting to that final destination. You have to be on the same page. You have to work extremely hard. We got to get out of a comfort zone. The strength and condition is first and foremost. So again, we think the pieces are in place. But now the work has to continue, and we got to take it to another level.